go. All right, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and make what's known as the grandfather of all sandwiches. And what's it called, honey? I don't know how to say that. You don't know how to say a paco witch? No. Okay, well, just just repeat what I said. A paco witch. Why is it called the paco I don't know. Why? Because this sandwich is freaking apocalyptic. It is the biggest, best sandwich you have ever seen in your life, and I believe you should give it the respect it deserves. <laughs> so, first you start out with a loaf of your standardized Vienna bread. Can you, can you see that? Vienna bread. Yeah, sort of. All right. As long as you get the general experience. Now we get the meat and the cheese that goes in the abaca witch. Which is actually a lot more than you might expect. Oh my God! I'm dropping shit. Okay. All right. So. We've got Kobe Jack cheese, Cajun turkey, roast beef, that is cracked pepper turkey, that's provolone, that is chicken breast, sandwich pepperoni, white American. Okay. Final ingredient that we all must remember, and that is A1 steak sauce. So, first things first, a pocket which wise, you gotta start with your base layer. The base layer is gonna be two meats. It's gonna be roast beef and sandwich pepperoni. You need about a quarter pound of sandwich pepperoni to make this, but I'm gonna have to make do with an eighth of a pound, because uh, of money. Take it, and just like they do at that freaking half-wits place of business, also known as Subway, we put down sandwich pepperoni end on end, and then we come on back as far as we can with what we've got left to fill out the rest. Then we take, remember, you got to get decent roast beef, medium rare. If you don't get it medium rare, you haven't got it done right. So we take some meat, a good amount of meat for this. You need about half a pound to make a proper apocalypse. Get that on there. Now, this alone would be a sandwich. But we're going to go ahead and kick it up a notch. Yes, I did that. I said that phrase. Don't give me that. Don't give me that crap. And look. Look like I'm crazy. White American. Take that. And we add our next base layer. Following base layer requires about... Mm, I'd say, what do, you, what do you think? Maybe a half pound? Yeah. About half a pound of white American. To cover the full length of the bread. And then we go back to meat. Because this is where that beautiful... Oh, that is beautiful. Give that a whiff, dear. That is Cajun turkey. Usually, I would use a Cajun chicken. But, fortunately, Hy-Vee's a bunch of punks and did not have a Cajun chicken. So, need about a fourth a pound of that just to really get the full length of your sandwich. Then you add your chicken breast. Chicken breast, very important, because it hollows just right on your Paco Witch sandwich. It just kind of fits right with that, that turkey. Now, again, put this together, what do you got? That's, that's a sandwich. sandwich. This, uh, this, this alone would be a sandwich. Now, normally I would put this on here, but uh, I don't think uh, I don't think it's a good plan right yet. 
So next on our list is cracked pepper turkey. Now people say, you know, Orange, why are you going to put two kinds of cook two kinds of turkey on it? And the answer to that question is spice. It's got that flavor, that pizzazz that you really need for a good, good sandwich. Isn't that right? Vocalize. Yes. And now, this is what we call crowning the sandwich. This is putting the, uh, the remaining two cheeses on in order to make your sandwich stay together. Because if you don't do this right, the sandwich ain't going to stay together. It's going to fall apart. And that is where you will begin to run into problems. Uh, and our last ingredient, of course, being provolone cheese. Now, to do a proper sandwich crowning good, get this from the top, would you? You have to put them in a little crown shape. Because that is how we get it done. Now again, normally, about each step of this sandwich, you've already got a big old sandwich. But this isn't just your average big old sandwich. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Apocalypse.